Hello and welcome to Odyssey Battery Tech Tips. My name is Aaron Woodruff, the Transportation and Specialty Area Manager for Enersys, the manufacturer of Odyssey batteries. In this episode, I'd like to talk to you about proper battery testing. Now before we get started, it's important to make sure that you have the correct equipment. That equipment includes terminal adapters, a voltmeter, and a battery tester that's capable of testing AGM batteries. All Odyssey batteries are AGM, or absorb glass mat. Using a tester that is not AGM compatible will give you an inconsistent or incorrect reading. Now, it's important to note the battery voltage before moving forward. If the battery voltage is at 12.5 volts or below, it needs to be recharged. You can refer to our Odyssey Battery Tech Tips video on charging for more information. Now, if the battery is at 12.6 volts or above, we're good to move forward. So first, let's start by putting the terminal adapters on. Now, I've got these brass adapters here, and a lot of shops have the lead adapters. I actually prefer the brass adapters. They're a very good conductor, plus they're hollowed through. So it assures a good solid connection on the pad of the battery. Now what you also want to make sure of is that you're not using a terminal adapter that is a little too short. For example, I've got this here. When you put this one on, it seems to bottom out, but it doesn't actually make connection with the pad of the battery. Now you can correct that by using a washer or a lug like I have here to fill that gap. So simply slide the lug over the terminal and then reattach. Now we've got a good solid connection and we're ready to move forward with the test. So let's take that off here and go ahead and put our other adapter on, the brass one. Slide that on there. Okay, now we've got our brass adapters. They're good and tight. Let's move forward with the battery tester. So you want to take your red cable and attach it to the positive terminal. You want to take your black cable and put it onto our negative terminal of the battery. Now that we have a good solid connection, we can move on to our test. Now this tester actually gives you several different options of what to test. You can do a battery test, you can do an alternator test. Obviously we're going to choose a battery test. It also asks you other items like making sure that the cables are connected properly, making sure that there's no dirt and debris. And then a nice feature of this tester is it actually asks you for the date code of the battery. The date code on an Odyssey battery can be found in the upper right hand corner of the label. Now if the label for some reason is rubbed off or missing, you can always find it on the side of the battery where it's etched in. So in this case, this battery was built in January of 2016. So that's the information that we're going to go ahead and put in. Now we're going to go ahead and start our test. It only takes a few seconds. And this one is good. It's 1,060 cold cranking amps. So this thing's ready to be put back into the application. Now, if for some reason the battery didn't pass and it hasn't already been charged at least once, you can go ahead and recharge it. However, I recommend that you wait at least two hours after charging to retest. That way, some of the surface charge is scrubbed off. Now, if you have any further questions in regards to Odyssey batteries, or would like to view other Odyssey Battery Tech Tip videos, please visit us at www.odysseybattery.com.